Listen to this press release. Listen to this press release. IPOB raised alarm on the plot by the enemies of Biafra to assassinate British High Commission in Biafra land. The global movement and the family of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, under the leadership of our liberator, Mazi Namdi, Mazi Namdi Okuchuku Khan, wished to advise the British High Commissioner, Katrina Liang, to be more conscious of her environment. We as well can we as well call on British High Commission to leave her regular visit to different part of Nigeria countryside, especially Biafra land, otherwise referred to as Southeast. The reason for this the reason for this sincere security advice is to save her life. Despite her hatred for Biafra and Igbo in particular, we have optimal respect and value for sincerity of life, especially visitors of our land. In view of the recently intercepted intel by our M branch, the IPOB Intelligence Unit Department, there is an orchestrated conspiracy to perform a sacrifice big and powerful enough to strengthen the potency of the British hatred against Igbo and Biafra. Such high profile plan is zeroed towards using a highly placed person capable of making a headline news globally as an escape goat. That is the plan of the Zoological Republic. This is what Asoro planned with the DSS in order to assassinate this woman in any of her crisscrossing movement within Biafra land. Then they will say, you know, all the movement of this woman within the Biafra land is against us. You understand? And we have been lamenting, talking about it. So now, the Nigerian government, the DSS, Nigerian government decided to take it to another level because we have condemned all her movement try to solidify, try to hook us down and all those things, then they will assassinate the woman there. Then, based on our past statements, you will start judging us. Say, we have been saying this about her, we have been saying this about her, we are against the British government, and you know what it takes for you to kill uh, or to assassinate um, a high commission or an ambassador of a country in your country, just trigger for war. This I want you to know how Nigeria hates you, a dear friend. This thing is not planned by the British, no. It is well planned by the DSS of Nigeria. Under the watch of Yusuf Biji. These are evil people. Very dangerous to associate or having them as neighbor. They never think of anything good. Every day in Nigeria, what they are planning and thinking is evil. Evil on daily basis. Nigeria can never come out. Check the se uh, almost seven years now, seven to eight years of the government of AP. Tell me one thing that you say is out of reasoning that they have launched this thing and is working in Nigeria. Nothing. Tell me one innovation, one structure or what that came out of reasoning apart from old structures. Somebody will say Second Niger Bridge or Railway Station or all those things have been there is a project. Another government was doing it then. Another another government came and continue or complete it. It's nothing. And what, what makes you a good, govern, a good governance is when you come into the system even if the system is working, you try to improve it with more reasoning. You have to show some certain things. Just as the economy is shaking all over the world, the shakings of the economy is not just only some countries you will see crying, it's global. These things are well planned by the Odo is a different case, it's a case of new world order. But what makes you Yes, it's a case of new world order. We continue to tell you things concerning those things, but some of us will just take it as a, um, uh, you just see it as a conspiracy theory. Maybe you don't believe in the gospel of the scriptures and all those things. You may not believe what is coming. Is It will surely come. It will crash the whole economy and the 
install its own economy is a different thing we are talking about that is not our topic but what i'm saying what makes you a good governance is when you come you see the crack then you you think you calculate what are we going to do to put this to put that to stop this and to increase this like the issue of subsidy almost the whole money nigeria realized they spend it in in in, in paying their debts the one you collected what do you do with it subsidy every time spending money a good government will think this money we are putting it here is is is, is, is just like a waste can we close this and open this can we do this and do that despite the project that is on ground that your predecessor left for you you are accomplishing you launch something good tell me one thing new tell me something new if not hessman because we were battling with Boko Haram during the time of jo uh, uh, Jonathan. It was just Boko Haram. When Buhari came in, we now see Magban, we now see Meeti Allah, we now see Hesmen, we now see uh, Iswap, Al Shabab, and Swa. All of them, they're just popping. And you can only see bad thing in Nigeria. We are not saying it because uh, we want to pull out of the zoo. We are telling you the gospel truth nothing good will come in life will continue to be more difficult mostly as this uh, um, global economic crisis every country is facing it and there is a way they engineer these things when it's happening they will know how to push it to third world countries they know how to push it you will face it more than them because the, the, the fiat money, the paper money, the economy, the Western world introduced into the world can be manipulated. I may not have money, but I can print paper and push it out. It is paper. You that has original uh, uh, item like gold and silver will use paper to buy your natural things. It's possible. This is a game. So they can manipulate it and push the problems to you. Ghana is vibrating now. Sri Lanka is gone. Many countries that are on the list. So back to what we are saying regarding this press release. Nothing good comes out of Nigeria. It's evil. Their brain, the brain of the leadership cannot calculate something good. It's just evil. And that is why their brain, how can we stop IPOP, Biafra agitation, this, that? They now go to this level of assassinating Katrina Liang. And the reason why they want to assassinate Katona Leng is because of the evil job they are using Katona Leng to do against Biafra restoration. And how we have been castigating the woman, telling her that what you are doing is not good, meeting chiefs, telling them to have uh, uh, still believe in the one zoological republic and all those things, so that if they eliminate her within the southeast, then it will balance, it can correspond with. Uh, uh, our statements that is it but not knowing that we are people of prophecy we are the people of the most high if we don't get it through our own calculation divine will reveal it for us divine will reveal things for us and that is why this demonic act is being exposed it's been exposed it's been exposed i tell you because I did been, we didn't expose it. They will carry it out. Quata quata, they will just compensate Britain with crude oil. And then come and deal with us. The same way British supply arms and we were killed under the watch of Queen Elizabeth during 67 to 70 genocidal war. That is their plan. To reduce us. Because we are very special people. As I always tell you, we are a very, you don't know who you are. Didi Amaronye Basse Biafran. He gave regret. He hit I tell you, brother, you'll be regretting. So I am this kind of person. Why should I tolerate such a thing? But time is coming when you get there. Let's continue with our press release. The leadership of IPOP do hereby advise that Miss Katrona Liang must as a matter of life and death suspend all her planned activities involving travel within Biafra territory. Those that are threatening by Biafra restoration project has perfected evil plan to assassinate Miss Katrona Liang, the British envoy on Biafra soil. Such 
such a quick such a quick cogent reason for Britain to disengage their weapon supply to Ukraine and concentrate same towards Nigeria to be used against Bear France. Their aim is to quash the agitation of self-determination and to kill as many as indigenous people of Biafra as possible as and the other resident in Biafra land just as they did in 67 to 70. The same thing they are planning and Nigeria want to give them the back up. The same thing. You remember when we were telling um, Kumuyi not to come? Kumuyi, don't come, don't come. We gather intel. People thought that we are against the man's church and against them. Didn't you see how they kidnapped the, uh, the prelates? Imagine that the way we have been hammering maybe on religious issue, because sometimes when we are talking on religious issue or some this religious leader, some people get it wrong as if uh, we are antichrist. We don't believe, we don't believe the, 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 the philosophy, the philosophy they are giving to you, because the philosophy they are giving to you on the Christendom is to bring you down, to make you to be stupid. That's why we don't believe, we condemn it. That's why when we are preaching, like if you listen to my message, I try to give you the point, not just to come and tell you that religion is this and that. Make it to be specific. It will be specific. You understand what we are telling you. Because most of the thing they preach to you there is to bring down your mind. Zero it completely. Make your mind to look stupid. Just as they have given you Muslim Muslim ticket now, they are watering down your your Christian spirit down. Whereby you know that it will never, there will never be peace between Christian and Muslim. And the Muslim will never tolerate such. They will never tolerate such if they dare bring a Christian uh, uh, candidate from the north. But they will be telling you, bringing you American idea, American philosophy, Western this, that is nothing, it is what they can do, this, that. Not knowing that religion is a very big factor in every country all over the world. Go and go, go, go and search religion. There are country, if not a particular religion, you cannot rule them. They'll be bringing all those things because religion, ethnicity is a very powerful factor and that is what is destroying the zoo. So when we are telling Kumuyi not to come, people were pushing it towards that side. What happened? Suddenly, everybody had the kidnapping of the prelate, the Methodist prelate. You, you saw it. Imagine if it is Kumuyi being kidnapped in Biafran soil and pay 100 ransom, 100 million naira ransom. Everybody... Even the crimin criminality that are going on, everybody has been targeted to ESN. Everybody has started blaming the ESN of those criminality. But thank God, God is vindicating. God is proving himself. Everybody will say, it is us. It is us. Thank God that the prelate being kidnapped is a Biafran. And even the area he was kidnapped, it is his own area. He knows everything. He understands the game. God, God make him to understand so that he come and testify in order to justify or vindicate us. The same way now, this publication is going to this British uh, uh, commissioner. Even though she hates us to the core, the woman hates us, hates Biafra, hates anything we are doing. But we are God's people. We love human. You know, you know what we believe in. Our name, our our language, Mando, the beauty of life, Mando, Mando. We love human beings so much. We are not even like them, the British, that will kill thirty million Indians during their time in order to take their resources and enslave them. We are not like that. We love human, even though you are enemy. We will love you with a distance. There is an adage in Igbo language that time. The adage did not stop you from eating with Satan. But the adage said, when you are eating with Satan, you would use a long spoon. You understand that adage? So, that is our way of life. That is our way of life. No matter how you hate us, we will still work with you and, and, and support you. And that is what we have displayed to the British and precisely to our dear Katrona Liang. Nigeria, you are following our wicked. They can feed you and destroy you. And they are the one who planned this. I must tell you the gospel truth. They are the one who planned it. That's how they killed uh, um, Ahmed Gulak. Ahmed Gulak, we assassinated in nowhere. When nowhere was so hot. By the administrator there. 
They plan the thing. Why is the matter not flaming up? That is the. Do you think that it is we that come out and kill and they keep quiet? The matter would have been flaming up. IPOB, this it just died off. Imagine killing a prominent northern zoologian in the east, and the matter just died off. <laughs> Think now, calculate. Do some calculation. Do some calculation because Ahmed Gulag was coming to collect ten billion, and he has pulled from the camp that installed the administrator, the Fulani administrator in Imo State. He was coming to take his own share in order to run for this presidency now that is going on this presidential election that is going on that is his mission he pulled out and they eliminate him to target ipop and god begin to pay them abakiari finally fall into because he that must go to equity must go with clean hand it's natural you cannot be a criminal and you are fighting criminality while you are still in committing crimes nature will deal with you mercilessly and that is what descended upon Abakia. So back to our, our message, you see why we want to save Katrona Leng, apart from our own advantage, that if such a thing happened in our land, if such a thing happened in our land, it would we don't have any nation that will defend us. We are just depending on God to help us to save our land and our people. If such a thing happened, Britain will British will come very heavy on us. But God reveal it. And also, this is the reason also we love human life. Man can do. That's why the woman hates us. That's why Katrona Leang don't want to hear anything Igbo, Biafra, Eastern region, Namdekano. We still love her and we want to save her life. And that is why we reveal this danger. In Asorok, the moment this thing is being published, everywhere is vibrating. I tell you the truth. Their eyes just turn red. How do they know this? <laughs> We will continue to expose them. We must continue to expose the wicked. Very, very important. Let's continue with our, our news. The leadership of IPOB do hereby advise that Ms. Katrona Leung must, as a matter of life, okay, we are read here, he said, we want to make it unequivoc unequivocally clear, unequivocally clear to the international community that IPOB is non-violent, is a non-violent self-determination movement. And we understand that usefulness of dipl diplomacy and we respect diplomatic relations in spite of the Nigerian government, unprovoked attack, arrest, torture, illegal detention, rape, killing and forceful disappearance of our family members, especially our youths. IPOB has not changed our peaceful, non-violent agitation into armed struggle. We remain, we are, naturally we are good people. That is why the Ishmaelite, that is why you see the Northern Zoologians advance so much. Because an Igbo man would just like a peaceful environment to do his business because he know that anything he engage will progress. It will prosper. It's natural. Hausa know it, Fulani know it, Yoruba know it. They know all this thing. They know that if Igbo man engage into this thing with his mind, that thing must prosper. So normally when they see it out of jealousy, envy, whatever, they will just start problem. So an Igbo man cannot just want a, 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 a violent environment. Igbo man don't want it. Because somebody who has something will not like to uh, uh, create an evil thing that will over, uh, uh, um, that will come after his good deed. Somebody who has something, if you have crest of egg in your hand, you won't like a turbulence area or a turbulence environment or violent, because you know that definitely those egg will break. Just as they said, you don't throw stone to, 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 to glass house. That is how the Igbo people are. They know it. That is why each time they'll be bringing violence, problem from time to time to us. From time to time to us. But that does not mean that we will remain like that. But we are trying to let the world know the plans of Nigeria over the assassination of the British High Commission, uh, High Commissioner um, Katrona Liang. IPOB does not wish the British envoy dead or dead. However, if she ignores 
this advice and walk into the trap already set by enemy of Biafra's struggle, that will be considered suicidal. We also want to let those masterminding the assassination plot of a British envoy on Biafra's soil to understand that nothing, and I mean absolute nothing, will slow down, let alone halt the Biafra restoration project. We therefore advise the British envoy never to lose your guard, even while we successfully bust their plan. <laughs> their plan had been busted. Their plan had been busted. Nothing good. They don't think anything good. They, their brain, if you go to DSS, DSS office, their brain is just evil. Go to the military, their brain, they never calculate anything good. That is why up to today, do you know ordinary bullet for AK-47? Do you know ordinary bullets? Ordinary bullet for, for pump action. All this thing have been imported till today. This is what we are France scientists, we are manufacturing. So what is bullet now? We are manufacturing um, 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 armor tanks. Armor tanks. Then, refining a palm kernel oil and use it on, on, on armor tanks. Then, that's why the heat of war. Because we have positive energy in us. We reason positively. Even in the midst of danger, Ibo man will try to convert it into a success. But then, till today, nothing, nothing, nothing is just wickedness, anger, jealousy, quarreling. Nothing comes out of them. Nothing. Go to the, the Nigerian police authority. You cannot see anything good. They are, they are projecting. They are giving to you. The military is zero. Just only evil. Killing people, collecting bribes, owing salary. No good, they can, you cannot see a military man well killed. Some uniform here, you use it for seven years. Shoot, don't chop a guy. Nothing good. Or come to say, this is what the military installed. This is a military school that they, they have given to this community. N nothing. Go to other part of the world, you see such a thing. That's why people love their own military, celebrate them for the good work they are doing for them. And who love the zoo? Zoo, even the military head themselves. Nothing good come out of Nigeria. It's only evil plan. Brother, understand what I'm trying to... Evil plan. Because Satan is the head of the zoo. Before you go in, your heart must be possessed. To evil. Evil. Everything they are planning is evil. They will remove your conscience. You never think of good. Everything you will be thinking is bad. And you believe that is the right thing. Evil, evil, evil. And this thing came in through Otman Damfodio, the Fulanese. It came in and polluted the land completely. Everybody buy it. It pains me that our Igbo people buy such wicked ideas. Our leaders, our politicians, even our traditional, they have made us to become wicked people. As I am now, I don't like any Igbo politician. I tell you. Because they are wicked, they are evil, they are being corrupt by the Fulani. Before you become anything in Igbo land, you have to go and join the Fulani Caliphate. If you don't join the Sokoto Caliphate, you cannot rule any state in Igbo land. Yoruba somehow are pulling because they have their own strong fraternity. The Yoruba strong fraternity is there. The Obonis, they use it. We don't have any. Our own, they have destroyed it. You have to go to Fulanese, the Sokoto Caliphate, join their fraternity, and their fraternity, the spirit there, is against you from Adam, from origin. That is why you become a governor. Had she, your child was in Imo State. He didn't kill anybody, but it was so hard. He don't pay salary. He don't pay uh, um, contractors. He just was just only him. And his Sokoto friends, he took the Imo State money, go to KP State and build schools for them there. Have you forgotten? Build in, um, he built school in, in Western Zoological Republic, in the Northern, in the Middle, everywhere. Because it's one Nigeria waiting for 2023. Abayo Senanya. He destroyed everything. Okebeke has come. He's killing his people. Because all of them must go through the Emirates. They must go through the Emirates. Join their fraternity. 
then the spirit of that fraternity will come and possess them. They become wicked over their people. You must know this thing. This is what is playing. Call it conspiracy theory. Call it the religion. What it is? What? Look at Soludo, the whole professor, as he claimed, he studied, but his education is just a, a formality. His, his education, Soludo's education, is just um. Uh, 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 it's just a camouflage it's just for social whatever when you come and you say I'm this uh, do something for your people nothing it is killing shedding them we can never forgive anybody that shed the blood of their friend I can't forgive you in the post you, you are in charge and you allow it to happen brother it is evil don't give forgiveness to that person I tell you if you understand who you are if you understand how dedicated we are to God so Ludo has you got a massacre. Can you count the number of people that were killed, killed here? Has he said anything? Just allow them. Another one will come because it's gradually. Okay, see, pass the finishers. Um, what's his name? The drunkard in Anambra before. Uh, uh will you be not destroy us everywhere? Before you go, you must join them. So what I'm saying is that nothing good nothing good nothing good will ever come because of the spirit there because of the mentality the understanding if you don't want to spiritualize it because of the way the 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 the, the, the information they will put into your mind you'll be thinking negatively yes so that let us not be so spiritual you'll be thinking negatively to destroy you can never reason something good to change something nothing they never do that they never do that Tell me one thing good. You say all this security uh, uh, um, institution in the zoo has made for the country or for the people that will make you to like them. Nothing. It's just to kill people. Killing, killing, killing. Somebody who is killing somebody, calling him a criminal, is also a criminal. He, he has taught money. They will see you on the way. Bring out POS. What is the Nigerian police doing with POS? And steal all the whole your money. Then tomorrow you see somebody walking on the street and say the person is a criminal. And he shoot him. I am telling you, nothing good come. All they think is evil. Evil. That is why they want to assassinate Katrona Liang. Brother, that is why they want to assassinate Katrona Liang, the British High Commission. They don't know anything, how to dialogue, how to fix things. Nothing. All is killing, 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 killing. And nothing is working. Their brain is zero. And that is why you must emancipate from this. The only way is total and absolute disintegration of this zoological republic of Nigeria. Total disintegration. You destroy the zoo, collapse it, or that, then you move out and become human. Let's continue. It is what you to note that we had never attacked British person, citizen, institution, investment and properties of any kind and we do not have such intention now or in the future notwithstanding being at the receiving end of the British unpleasant attitude the Bophobic, Biafra, Phobic and the strange, stringent policies they, are, they have made upon us despite all those things we still don't have anything about them. Garbashehu and Co. and Co. Cabal hatched the plan to tarnish the image of ESN and IPOB and they decided to replicate what they did with the murder of the two Nigerian army couples who were murdered last April. That is Garba, a very the most dangerous guy in the presidency you know because he's just appointed he need to do something uh, that will promote him something evil that is what he's doing there that guy is very dangerous Garbashev. the most as dangerous as mustafa in those days you know how mustafa although mustafa's own is military is defending his balls abaja you cannot penetrate and let me say this mustafa is an idiot I blame him when I research. That guy would have been the president of the zoo immediately, militarily. He went and called some cabals. He went and called some hyenas that his boss is dead. They kick him up and he suffered. <laughs> that, is a, that is a message of another day. So Garba Shehum, we call on Garba Shehum, the Asorok Theater, theater Art Director, to choose another location, procure another format as those intercepted would never be released 
the British woman called Katrona Leng, the British High Commissioner to Nigeria, is not our problem. If Nigerian presidency have run out of idea on how to stop Biafra agitation, why not try referendum? Wonderful. There would be anything good, they don't take it. Anything good is this evil, evil, evil. It is evil, evil, evil. No, it in Nigeria. I'm telling you the gospel truth. It's always evil. It's always evil. They never think of good. They never think of good. This press release is very good. It's very good. It has exposed every. has not reached to the extent that warrants assassination of their citizen in Biafra land, in Nigeria or in any other part of the world for that matter. Whosoever plan to invite Katona Ling to Biafra land must provide adequate security enough to protect him and counter that which was planned in Asorok in a meeting concluded on the 11th of July 2022 at 2135 hours in Abuja, Comrade Emma Powerful, Media Publicity Secretary IPOB. Believe you have read this, but I try to put more understanding, more analysis for you to understand. Nigeria is evil. The only way they think they can put Nigeria in peace is to kill Abiola. Since they kill Abiola, what is there? Is anything good coming? And another Abiola is going to be killed because all this thing Jagaban is doing. I can imagine the same Because the same the same just if you watch it the same the same year. 1993, 2023, you see it is corresponding Muslim, Muslim, and the same Muslim, Muslim ticket and uh, um, 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 Kanuri, Kanuris, you know. The, the, the running mate there was Kanuri, this one is Kanuri, and it's pushing, it's pushing. And it was when the Zoological Republic was in a, in a disarray, disarray. There was crisis of the military to take over, to return, to remove the military. The same thing, the crisis, the same thing. Let's see how they are going to fill and knees, trust them trust them but what i'm saying why we are saying all this thing is this so that you will not be a victim they are able a victim most of us and our neighbor above black group boy in mapota he blew placard in a mari now mari was a loser let's take another news let's take another news This is coming from um, uh, Samuel Autumn. We have known Samuel Autumn for speaking out as a result of the evil this present government has been doing. Uh, I think this one is in United States. He made this announcement. If Buhari government free terrorists, he should free Nam Kano. Governor Autumn says during meeting with Igbo stakeholders in U.S. The thing is that even the Igbo stakeholders, he could be telling this, could be among the people who plan to betray our leader. Mm hmm your see boom oh man but the man is speaking compare him to other Igbo governors who look as if he say anything even is from his state no never mind his hand is involved in extra ordinary rendition uh who again is it okay beke okay beke okay beke even now badum boka we we know all his plans you know who again Soludo is a very dangerous man very dangerous if you don't know him very there's no Igbo governor is going to speak who one is a midwife that's what says they call not you know and whether of nothing they can't talk and if we go we are gone tell me one Igbo governor Igbo politician that will just stand and be challenging the Fulanese challenging them oh 
The Benue State Governor Samuel Autumn has called for the release of the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB Namdekan, for the peace process in the country to be taken seriously. According to the release by Peter Ichul, the Governor's Senior Special Assistant on Diaspora Affair, Autumn made the call in U.S. when a group under the ages of Igbo under the ages of an um, American veteran of Igbo origin, paid him a courtesy visit in Washington. In the Igbo, and the man will just be telling them as a, um, as a TV man, I know we can do now when you have some dangerous, um, some dangerous virus, <laughs> some Igbo dangerous virus. Now, for the, for the dirty job, I tell you. Some of these are people, they very danger, very bad. That some of our people, they are very dirty. Very That's why things are so difficult for us. Listen, if you are a dear friend and you have a very bad mind for your people for no reason, for no reason, maybe this person is progressing, you are against it, you are bringing condemnation upon what we are doing. I tell you. And you yourself, you will not progress. Forget about acquiring money, whatever. You may get that most. You don't have peace. Don't have rest. Somebody went and hung himself, as I heard, as I read. <laughs> what is happening? I don't know. These are people who have been kidnapping, making money. Why would you hang yourself? Nobody's pursuing you. Just live a good life as a beer friend. Just leave it. Let it go. The, the level you find yourself, always give praise to God. I tell you, always give praise. Only show your anger to the enemy of the children of God. I'm telling you, see, the power of God will come upon you. Because that is what God, we are not like, this thing they wrote in the Bible is talking about us. You may not believe it. But the moment you start going against your fellow brother for no reason, uh -huh. You now see the problem. You now see. You now see the anger. Not only you, upon the whole people. That's how God made it. So I'm just talking about these people that visited or Tom and uh, whatever. Well, I did not see much of the thing they said there. I don't need to read the whole contents because the contents somehow are talking about to unite. Although Tom is a political man, he may still says one Nigeria and all those things. But the people that pay courtesy visit would have, based on the statement, uh, based on the write ups here, I was just trying to see a very strong word they would put. But they are still solidifying their one Nigerian believing that maybe, you know, those in America have been successful in all these things. Uh, some of the criminal will come and pick you and make you governor, you know, make you senators and all those things. So most of the time, they're always a very standby political evil scent. You are, you are, you are an evil scent. You are a scent, but you are evil, ready for any dirty political post, you know, they'll just pick you. Uh, just come and finish use it to uh, brainwash other people all gonna have one america on america for 30 years on a man with a will will you be and i'm gonna get them mine for eight years gonna hand over one hour but also go up a bend now hi and i've been like you question at least you got good and i've been for seven days or we're also we're also not happy been there i'm not sure about america so that is why how we see all those things. But just be a good guy, my dear brother. Just be a good guy. If you're a good guy, continue to maintain it and preach positively to your people, to our people, to change. Nigeria is corrupting us and destroying us. Nigeria is corrupting us and destroying us. Finally, um, let's take this news. Um, uh, the rise of um, fuel pump in the zoo, the rise of the price of fuel pump in the zoo is so high. Inflation is going up there at night. Something you buy 5,000 Naira last month. This month now is 5,000 plus. That is how it will continue and continue and continue until you die. Or you do the needful thing to put a wage. The only thing to do is to agitate. At the moment everybody in the zoo or the poor masses in the zoo pull out agitate to end Nigeria, end the evil in Nigeria, 
a referendum, whatever, you will see life will change. But if you are still, look at Jagaban will go oh, for a campaign and you people are around in him, clapping hand for him. A criminal. Jagaban that has a drug case in America. Why he's insisting for him to become president is for the immunity to cover him. Then America, America. Then God visit in the America. See, they won't arrest him because they will respect the land. But they will see us as idiots. The same thing with Atik Abubakar. A condemned criminal that have been the whole contract awarded federal rules in Adamawa belongs to Atik Abubakar. Before you construct any federal road in Adamawa, you must budget it twice. One will go for him. The other one will be for the road. If you budget it once, you have fed him, the work will not be done. That is how they are doing it. They have some roads and some bridges and place to renovate or construct that they will be using as their shop to be collecting money. Every year they will buy. If you go and say, let me build it or repair it with my money, they will, they will destroy you. Don't you see the one that happened in Enugu the other day? We talk about it, Jim Wobodo. A young guy who made his money build a filling station and then he noticed that the road is not good it's not motorable for people to come in and um, people to come in and be patronizing his business he just calculate within himself how much is it to put this road fix this road so that my business will flow he decided on his own he decided on his own to repair the road maybe to help the government if the government is he, he, he is not strong enough financially capable to do it but all of us had it. We read the news here. We broadcasted it here some time ago. Suddenly, as he want to start the project, somebody, one demon, one powerful demon from Enugu State surfaced. His name is Jim Wobodo. He just surfaced. Because that is Ebo Siri. This is where he's eating. Every year or whatever, a mere budget of that road. A working on a company, oh yeah, who's that danger? People are now. How am I going to go about my mother there? Because cultural and political and economic and tell you everything. As then will be happening there, and there will be people will be dying. If you want to construct that road now, that Jim Wobodo's road, you have to pay twice. Then you take one of the money, give to him, then use the other one to repair that road. That was what happened. That's how they have been. This is what Atika Baka have been doing. That's why if you go and see any federal road in that area, he is the, he is the one sitting. These are criminals. But they are coming out to rule you to become your candidate in 2023. And you are keeping quiet. And the Western world are watching you. Tomorrow you are in Italy or you are in America or in, in Canada. You say they are doing racism. They are, why won't they push you out of train in Ukraine when there is war? Why wouldn't they push you out of Ukraine and allow good people to enter first? Because they know that you, as at 60s, 70s, there was a university in University of Ibado, oh, 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 University of Ibado, yeah. There was the best university teaching hospital. Even people were coming from Saudi Arabia. Why is it you did not maintain it? People come from Saudi Arabia to come and treat themselves then. You did not maintain Now you are going to study medicine in Ukraine. It's because of all these criminals that you are allowed to rule you. So when they see you in that level, they will push out of the train and say, wait, can they, can they go to Mado by a train? Now go abroad Mado. Because you saw evil in your land, your own land, you allow it to grow. Because you look at your presidential candidate, criminals, criminals, and that is why fuel pump price is increasing. Brother, it will continue to increase till that kingdom come until you die. Nobody will help you until you do the needful. Moreover, now that the world economy is shaking and all those things, it will shake more because the new world order is coming. So it is only those who have taken two or three steps ahead of others will transfer the liabilities to the poor ones like Africa. Then if you bring it to Nigeria, the corrupt system will make it to descend upon you. You may have, we wanted to travel to go and see one dead or one nen nen nan na somewhere that it shouldn't be about uh, should be like three four hours journey which is supposed to go and see you won't travel again because of the high cost of transportation yeah all those things will be denied because this thing will continue let's take this news nigerian petrol marketers raised fuel pump price to 185 naira per liter Despite government order, they, they are the same thing. They are still they are violating government order. 
as if they have violating God. They have discussed with government from 165 to 185. How are they going 20 naira in there? Then calculate what this 20 naira will be on top of every goose and services in the zoo. Things will be high. Petroleum marketers in the country have ignored the federal government's order to retain the fuel pump price of 165 naira per liter. The marketers since Tuesday therefore unilaterally raised the fuel pump price from its official 165 naira per liter to 185. These are the things they are waiting in order to for them to make their illicit money out of your blood, out of your pain, so that they will be servicing themselves, go to Dubai. And all those things buying houses because these petroleum marketers the all of them are the same and they tell you that they defile the federal government order they are the same thing okay you go and defy government order and see what government will do for you do to you but these criminals will do it because it's five and six it's just like you see Dan Gote excelling in every government that comes Dan Gote will never go because Dan Gote is a franchise is a franchise every criminal invest in dangote that is where they invest so dangote they will just leave him as a businessman he any government that comes will acknowledge him because that is where they put their money and take it abroad and do whatever through dangotes you don't know, understand all those things this is coming as the major oil marketers association of nigeria moman complain that the current price was no longer Feasible. Reporters visit a few filling station in Oka Anambra State capital shows that some of the petrol station raised the price as high as 190 above per liter. Trust our side now. Trust our side. He cannot get the normal price in our side. Even that's why it's 165 officially and then other part of the world have of our country have pushed it to 185. Trust our area. We our class is too high. Let me put it in that way. Go out of the car in a cutter. Our class is very high. <laughs> in Oka is 190. Gain about one liter of petrol. Think of other people. Mandinera granite. Mandinera giti. Mandinera chinchim. Yes, you see more but on the charafia for not How much do they make in a day? And how much are they going to pay for transportation that will bring them out? Calculate all these things. Calculate all these things, brother. If the person refused to do now, I should not be lazy. And the moment he stay at home doing nothing, evil will come into his mind. Now he has come out to hustle, to survive. Of which, under normal circumstances, government need to back him up or her up. The same government is what is draining and draining and draining them. Somebody give brew pure water. Bare chi 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 Bare chi 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 Compare that puzzling guy with a hustler, his mate in Japan. Compare such a thing with a, with his mate in South Korea. The, the guy don't in South Korea don't need to hustle, waste much energy like this one. Just a little thing. Government uh, 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 infrastructures are there. Government uh, has um, stabilized things to enable him. To move forward to fly up we are telling you nigeria can never help you now it's one uh, 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 90 in the east and you are buying pvc pvc look at what um uh, shegumi said and i thank god for our press release to counter it i was unable to broadcast that day Due to some certain things on technical, because I wanted to come and dissect uh, that man, the statement he made regarding um, the obese issue uh, is watering our spirit, as I always tell you regarding agitation. It's because of you that is joining PVC that Shegumi will come and talk that rubbish. 
and they know that at the end of the day you will never achieve your aim is the issue of uh, uh, the 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 horse and carrot stick they don't care have carrot stick just put the carrot ahead of the of the of the horse or the donkey it will be running following it, but it can't get it just like when we are small when the moon comes out we'll be watching the moon as if there are people inside the moon we'll be jumping up as if our hands will reach to the moon all those kind of thinking that is how your pvc is to you for you to jettison anything nigeria back it up back throw that energy that strength with biafra restoration push it if you want to go it through them like you that is trying to claim can p to be restructured nigeria such a question have been asked him he could not answer he can't do anything can he remove the subsidy that have been draining the economy of the zoo how about you overnight it's just like presently now in america you want to stop petrodollar there is what is called petrodollar that is why they assassinated they destroyed uh, uh, gaddafi gaddafi want to create a currency in africa in african bank you don't need dollar again if you do it america is already in debt if you do, america will just go and print a paper paper call it dollar and push it into the world and you'll be using it they use it to buy your 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 natural things they use it to buy your strength your wealth your effort but they just print paper so if you cut off the petrodollar america will start collapsing start melting like candle wax start melting like candle wax that you expose to the to the sun so they don't joke with those things that was that's in fact that was what prompt the removal of saddam hussein hussein that is how subsidy is to this criminal in nigeria they are eating the money they are servicing themselves if you enter the and say you will remove it they will eliminate you overnight can your p2b do who is and you are ordinary Ibo man a condemn Ibo man never have backbone Ibo man has no vertebral backbone cannot do anything can't do anything you want to the energy restoration you are pumping it into something that 